Good evening, 4-14-2020. Yeah, that's right. So, my question to all of what's going on, ladies and gentlemen of the world, my 100 million, my $6.2 trillion question to all of this is when are we going to hunt down the elite like wild fucking animals in the in the jungle and ravagely rip the elite apart from limb to limb and their seeds that they have produced on this planet when are we going to act civil and do what we should be doing long ago. These people are the danger to humanity. These people at the top have created the wars, the famines, and all of above. And they escape every effing time. When the masses rise from lion, ri lambs to lions and go on a hunting spree, there is going to be nowhere for them to hide when the critical mass comes to an awakening and hunts these people down at the top that are causing all of these problems. It's not a matter of who, it's a matter of what they do. The ramifications from stopping the commerce on the planet is going to be have a, an effect for years to come. Just like when they did the financial hostile takeover in 2008. And then the bullshit that they pulled in the 90s. The bullshit that they pulled in the fucking 80s. And the 70s. And the 60s. And the fucking 50s. And the 40s. And the 30s. And the 20s. And the teens. And into the 1800s. These same dynasties. These same families. These same royalists in England need to be dragged out and their heads chopped off. And their children put down like wild animals. Worse than wild animals. They are the virus of the world. When are we going to get rid of our fear? Oh, but they got protection. When they see the world coming at them, all of humanity, I guarantee you, ladies and gentlemen, they won't have any security. They won't. If they, if they have anybody, it might be one person that's stupid enough to stand up and try to fucking protect them. Violence isn't always the, the, the best option, but violence is always an option. And people respond to violence. They reject it, but they respond to it. And these people, these people I'm talking about, and you know who I'm talking about, and even ones behind the scenes. It's time. It's time that they pay in their blood. Absolutely, ladies and gentlemen. It's time that their and their families be the one ravaged. On a global scale. It is. And we can get to business. And we can get back to life. We were already running the planet, but they have manipulated and consolidated almost all of the businesses through the years, passed laws to protect them and ruin the little business mom and pop shops. There ain't going to be no normal until these guys are hunted down and taken out. And that's a fact. So, my question, $6.2 trillion debt question is, when does humanity grow the balls, grow up from little children, and actually because in real world time, from what I understand, at least anybody that attacked us like this, 
they would be hunted down and murdered. Absolutely. Without a shadow of a doubt, no question about it. Destroying people's lives, creating wars, getting good, honest people to murder each other. They had nothing to do with each other, nor did they have any problems actually with each other. Except some cocksucker got you to go and fucking murder each other. Grow up. This isn't a game. And you're allowing them to play a game with us. And watch us destroy each other. And if you're religious, you're committing sins for them. They didn't get no blood on their hands. They didn't get dirty. They didn't lose their kids. If anything, they gained more out of it because they're the beneficiary of all these actions that they create. Didn't you notice that they signed themselves a nice paycheck from this? $6.2 trillion question? World. Human beings, you need to wake up, grow some balls. Rise up from lambs, ladies and gentlemen. Become lions. Go on the hunt. It's time for a new era to come. It's time for the elite to be squashed out and the meek rule the planet for once and for all.